2013, the year in review. As this year comes to an end, 2013, we wanted to take a look back like every other family out there, we had our highs, we had our lows, but the only difference between our family and most families is that we put our life on video to share it with you so you can be part of our life. So without further ado, let's recap Bowl Worlds 2013 month by month. Throughout this recap video, you'll get to see highlights of footage seen throughout the year. Seems like this. Dude. You look awesome. Thank you. And if you want to see that clip in its entirety, all you need to do is search that episode's title, which will be shown on the bottom left or the top right of your screen. Oh, I feel like this is way too short. I like it. To do this, simply go to your internet browser, go to www.boa.tv to access the BOA network. From there, click on the search menu, search for the episode's title, click on the matching search result, and experience that video. You guys ready? Let's go. January. It was an interesting way to start our New Year's. It was beautiful where we were at. Unfortunately, Bert's mom took a turn for the worse. Bert and I had to travel to Las Vegas during this time. Bert is going to be here about his mom. Unfortunately, while he was there, his mom passed. I was by her side the entire time, and it was by far one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult thing I have ever experienced in my life. One of the most amazing, incredibly strong, and noble people that you would ever have had the opportunity to meet in your life. And then in our team, we also had LJ's little sister, who was very ill in the month of January. It was definitely a lot going on, all at once. So it was really difficult for all of us to really focus, you know, getting ready for Belize, which is what we had to do at the end of January. Pack the bags, the team, the equipment, organize, you know, strategize, plan all the logistics and everything. Do you know how hard it is to pack for a two-week tour? It was an incredible way to start the year, and it kind of set the tone for the rest of the year. February. Belize was an amazing, amazing experience. The second part of the team will show up on Sunday. So for the next couple of days, you guys to see the behind the scenes and how we get ready for the event. We always put our best energy forward to any event that we put on. Really, it was one of the best experiences of my life. And the experience that definitely solidified my belief that I was doing what I was supposed to do, that I was where I'm supposed to be. You're the first one to walk on glass. You were? Nice. What are you going to do? <laughs> we spoke to over 8,000 children. And we toured the entire country. It was a great time, and I'm so excited that we're going back again. March. March was another very interesting month. The team went out, even got to experience a Bon Jovi concert. That was awesome. Man, it was so awesome. The audience was great, and the concert was outstanding. This was the month that we were in Orlando and we were caught in like this kind of storm tornado thing. It was just like we were in the movie Twister. You could practically see the cows flying by. And the reason why we were in Orlando is because we went to Playlist Live. And this was the first time we ever went to Playlist Live. For me, this is one of the coolest moments of the year because we really got to actually go in front and like meet the YouTubers, the people that we're working with online. Promise me you won't kill your friends. Because you will get a lot of views, but you will have your friends. So we connected with some of the top YouTubers and made some really awesome friends. Make it happen. Right, now why don't you make it happen? Make it happen. Make it happen. Making it happen. Making it happen. Eric even came out this month. Tell my parents I'm gay. And the parades just haven't stopped since. They don't think I'm gay. April. Sunday, 2013. All holidays, we always do a lot of fun family events and things like that. Did great coupon? Easter was another great family time. Easter has one common thing. What does it have? Of eggs. And April even brought Eric a chip tooth. You chipped your tooth? How? I don't know. Yeah, I still need to fix that. One Sunday, Alessa and I went to the beach and we met this really cool, talented kid who was an upcoming rapper. She like a camera. I keep a cam cool. Uh. And soon afterwards, my boot kind of fell out. Woo! This is our life. And this is what we have chosen. <laughs> Bam! I like writing dirty. That month, all of the boys and the bowl kids, they went mudding in Miles Jeep and had a lot of fun, lost some equipment. So make sure you check everything double. Right, LJ? Right. 
LJ and Alexa met The Rock. We're doing a tour for kids around the world. And while LJ was busy meeting The Rock, I met his ex-wife. May. May, of course, has Mother's Day. It was just great to spend the day with the family. As we honored all mothers, past and present. Another fun thing that happened this month is that we actually got to put together our sizzle reel for the Potentials reality show. That was a really cool end product. I experienced the vow of silence. Hey, he didn't talk for 28 days. Kind of like sitting next to a very energetic mime. Most of the month I was silent. <laughs> this was around the time where I had this kind of reaction on my face. I can't open my eye, guys. Give me <laughs> June. To start off the summer, we started doing these power socials where we invited some of our closest friends to come and hang out with us and just socialize. Power social is not about selling and promoting your business, it's about building strong relationships. In the month of June, we started off with him going to the hospital and finding out finally that he had diverticulitis all year. While we were in the hospital, we had a surprise visit from Audrey. Surprise! Who then, by the time Bert was able to get out of the hospital, whisked us away and we went to the beach and had a fabulous weekend at the beach. The month of June also brought us another championship for the Miami Heat. And everyone took to the streets and banged their pots and pans in celebration. Don't know why we do that here in Miami. Since we're not really into sports too much, we decided to have our own celebrations. So we took it to the open seas. And we went on the Musette, which was absolutely fabulous. We also had an opportunity to see the world's most expensive vacuum cleaner. So we took two thousand Swarovski crystals embedded on it. And just to unwind a little bit, we like to go and meet some more people. So we ended up going to Barton G's for a financial networker that was really interesting. July. Tabby always likes to just make people laugh and smile and one day she walked in with like 10 balloons and walked around to each person and just tied them to her wrist. Dad has one too. What? <laughs> a balloon? Yeah. We ended up walking around like the rest of the day with balloons tied to her wrist. Also of course celebrated the 4th of July where we got to go and see some really cool fireworks. It was a blast. This year we had lots of different events and things like that and George Tubek is a regular at a lot of our events and he's such a character. And one power social he came in and stripped down and got into a speedo and jumped into the, the jacuzzi. I've never been with such an older man. <laughs> our power socials always get kind of interesting. Oh boy, yes they do. As you know at Boa we all love animals and this month even Eric decided to kind of adopt an animal for a while and took care of Charlie, the really neurotic little chihuahua. How are you? I think that's called presenting. Some of our team got to go to the dolphin training camp and see where the dolphins trained and the really cool facility. At the same time, I got to battle with a cockroach in my car. It's crawling on my roof while I'm driving. So we got to go to a movie premiere for a movie called Exposure. It was a really cool experience. Get to meet the director and the different cast members. Also in this month, I decided to finally go back to my maiden name. It's gonna be so weird getting used to your new name. I still have a problem spelling it. I know it's really hard to spell, but it's easy to say. I like men, like men. That's it, like men. August. August was definitely an interesting month for us. We are going to find um, Cocodrilo. Cocodrilo. LJ got to finally get in touch with his inner crocodile. <laughs> Cocodrilo? Anyways, now we revisited our footage from our summer vacation. Our vacation in Europe, which is absolutely fabulous. You gotta watch the episodes there. Just so you can see the whole tour that we did in Europe with the entire family. It was just to die for. It was absolutely amazing. August also was able to bring us soccer down here in South Florida. So LJ, Burton, and Victor actually kind of did a little escapade to go watch the games. It was a lot of fun going to see the game that I love to play the most. The veterans had an event and they invited my brother since he's a veteran. He got to swim with lots of marine life. It was kind of creepy, kind of slimy, but it was nonetheless, it was very enjoyable to watch him with a big old smile on his face. After that, we all got to swim with the dolphins and we learned so much about dolphins and learned that they're just totally adorable. My brother loves to play lottery and although he had an incident playing lottery, it didn't hold him back from winning a lump sum of money and giving it to Dylan for his birthday in August. And Dylan went on his own little shopping spree and he got himself a new computer. Right after that, we went to DC for a very interesting 80s themed wedding. It was a spectacular trip. 
We sure did go through a lot of hairspray. As soon as we got back from DC, time to pack our bags again and hit the road with the entire team. We went to Hispana 2013 in Orlando, Florida at the Grand Floridian. The venue was excellent. However, the crowd was outstanding. Gosh, what a fun event. We danced the night away at Epcot and saw the fireworks and talked to the most spectacular group of Hispanic women ever. What are you gonna do? September. Unfortunately, September brought some more hospital visits. We actually had to take Alexa to the ER. We also filmed a couple commercial shoots this month. We had a lot of fun filming and just really bonding at these different shoots. And that's really what it's all about. This month, also our sponsor, Monster Energy, got us a lot of products. And I mean a lot. So they are starting to bring in all of the monsters. This is what we got so far. We always do field trips as a team, but this month we did something really cool. We actually went to a temple and it was amazing. It was like we traveled to a totally different world. We even got to celebrate a wedding this month too. And Bert was the minister. Amen. October. In October, we also got to feature a road tour that we experienced where we went to church camp, make it happen. Atlanta visited our property in Asheville. And that's where we're gonna build our trees or Eric took me to the Deering Food and Wine Festival, which was absolutely spectacular at the Deering Estate this year. I rarely miss a year. Well, we're in the corner of Valerie's house. Why not go by there? We were able to conquer a prank on Miss Valerie. No. <laughs> they scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> because in October we had another hospital visit, we decided that it was time to seriously change our diet. We decided that we would start our juicing phenomenon. To no avail, we found out that we really enjoyed juicing and started changing our eating habits. Actually, we really did enjoy juicing. However, dun dun dun. Bert still ended up in the hospital for Halloween, and he missed Halloween with his kids for the first time ever. We also got to experience a really fun time by filming our episode for the Halloween special, which was so cool to see everybody coming out in their costumes and looking so authentic. Definitely one of my favorite episodes that we've done yet. November. This month was pretty crazy as well. We had the Women's Success Summit, which that was just an awesome event that we did down here in Miami, and it was just a great success. We had such a good time there. I always truly enjoy being around powerful, strong-minded women. This month, we also shared a bit about what our power journey is, and we got to show you guys what actually happened behind the scenes. Oh, I love the power journeys. What well, that is, you need your gloves. I really enjoyed this Thanksgiving because we had the entire family in one place at one time. Thanksgiving has always been my favorite holiday. What other time do you get to spend with your family and eating the best food? And there was also a very scary moment when me and Eric actually got in a crash in a Land Rover. And thankfully, you know, we came out fine, but it was definitely a scary moment when it happened. Kids, always wear your seatbelts. December. In December, we had a few power forums where a bunch of like-minded individuals came together and just spent like 10 hours with group coaching with Bert, and they were awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite programs. And of course, because everybody here at Bull is so creative, we even came up with a new series called Welcome to the Family, which is our vlog series that shows up every day, Monday through Friday, at 6 p.m. Our new vlog series. You should watch it. We did Noche Buena on the 24th, and then on Christmas Day, got to go see Dylan ride his new motorcycle and just hang out with the family and have fun. It was a great Christmas and a great way to end the year. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. In fact, we're coming into 2014, and we want to make sure that you become part of our team. Whenever we travel the country or the world and we bump into you, we wanna be able to get you into our show. So make sure that if you like our videos and you wanna support us, please forward it, subscribe, and share it with as many people as you can. Cause all it takes is that one person that really likes what we're doing and we're able to make a difference in their life. Looking forward to see you in 2014 and don't forget to live life and don't let life live you. Hi, I'm Dylan. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe so you can make it happen with Bowl World.